What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon Video Game National Championships. I'm Justin Flynn, sitting next to my man, Dweeha here. Hey, guys. How's it going? We are taking over for Scott and Evan, and although I could listen to electronic dance music for the next five to six hours, uh, I think we're going to jump into another match here. We got Ashton versus Simon, two crazy teams that the audience has been super hyped about. Yeah, uh, Ashton really... He has been known to use really obscure Pokemon, so it's going to be interesting to see what exactly he's brought to uh, this tournament. Uh, Simon, of course, not really well known for using obscure Pokemon, but he's always a great player. Uh, right now, both players are actually playing for a very important match. Uh, this is the last round of Swiss, so the winner of this will probably most likely move on to top cut, while the loser of this will have to rely on the tiebreaker to try to advance the top cut. Yeah, it's going to be a huge one. Now, I believe that uh, Ashton has uh, a place waiting for him at Worlds, is that correct? Yeah, uh, Ashton right now with his strong record is pretty much guaranteed an invite to Worlds, but of course, what everybody really wants is that free trip to Worlds, all paid. <laughs> so Ashton is fighting for that. Yeah. Uh, Simon, of course, last year, the, one of the more unfortunate players, he bubbled out of Worlds at 13th place. So right now, Simon trying to get as deep as he can to try to get that invite. All right, it looks like we're going into the match. I am stoked for this. I cannot wait to see these teams. Oh, that beautiful pan. <laughs> There we go. Love that pan shot. All right. Looks like we got the team up on screen here. So we are looking at Ashton's team, which is uh, the Sock, Weavile, Gigalith, Heliolisk, Charizard, as well as Espeon. And then uh, from Simon, whose team you cannot see on screen right now, guys, is going to be Blastoise, Tyranitar, Lucario, Amoongus, Salamence, and Talonflame. Yeah, Ashton definitely not disappointing right now. Look at that team. Sock, Gigalith, Espeon, and Heliolisk with the Weavile. Uh, five Pokemon right now, not really that popular. Mega or Charizard right now, probably the Mega of his team, uh, probably the only the only Pokemon that can carry that Mega Stone, so most likely that Mega. And well, Sock, of course, with that really strong fighting type, uh, Heliolisk, not really well known, and Espeon, of course, with Magic Bounce possibly to uh, probably combat with any Dark Void Snurgles that uh, this tournament had. Simon, of course, playing a bit more standard Blastoise, uh, really not well known as a Mega Pokemon, and. It actually is pretty strong. It's actually growing in popularity, so I'm excited to see that as well. Lucario could possibly be the Mega. Lucario with the Mega Stone, possibly one of the more popular Mega Pokemon right now. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two teams will combat with each other. Uh, Ashton's team probably going to try to take Simon by surprise with uh, all five of these Pokemon not really well known. And what exactly can they do, you know? Yeah, that is a good question here. You're, we're going to see some um, potentially obscure move sets here that um, uh, players aren't ready for. Yeah, and that really works well in best of one Swiss, but, well, Ashton's proving everybody wrong right now by going and doing so well in best two out of three Swiss, so going to be interesting to see exactly what happens right now. All right, it looks like we are entering the match here. I can't wait to see these leads. That's a huge turn one right there, you know? All right, hat and glasses. Crowd's going wild right now. Let's hear it, guys, for these two players. All right, the shiny Talonflame and Salamence lead there from Simon. Oh, the crowd getting wild on it. And then we got those shiny Weavile. Oh, so pink. So nice. And the Gigalith as well from uh, uh, from Ashton up there. Yeah, uh, really good leads right now for both sides. Gigalith, of course, being able to threaten that Talonflame and Weavile being able to threaten that Salamence. Uh, Salamence firing off Intimidate, going to do a bit of work to Gigalith and Weavile. So right now, both players kind of have a tie in this lead. Weavile, of course, threatening that Salamence. Uh, Talonflame not really going to be able to do much work to Gigalith, but of course, uh, Talonflame can also do damage to Weavile and fire off moves before Weavile. We've all threatened with fake-out pressure, of course, so it's going to be interesting to see exactly what plays out. All right, looks like both players have made their decisions. We see the Salamence returning to Simon there. Brings in the Blastoise. Oh, hurt me, Mega Blastoise. <laughs> all right, and the Talonflame protects. Let's see if he does go Mega here. Or on the next turn, actually, I'm sorry. And uh, Weavile goes fake-out. Doesn't do anything. And the Rock Slide, the Protect, not going to do any damage to that Talonflame. And a little bit onto the Blastoise, who's uh, going to be able to take that. Yeah, good play by Simon right there, switching that blast twist to take any possible ice attack if Weavile did choose to target down that Salamence. Uh, putting himself in pretty good position right now. Gigalith not going to enjoy whatever blast twist takes right now. And of course, blast twist always threatens with that possible fake out too. So right now, Simon really just trying to take that momentum away from Ashton with those surprise leads really. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens right now. Gigalith of course still threatening that Talonflame and with Sturdy, it will always hold on uh, as, long as, it, uh, is, as long as it is at full health. So let's see how it plays out. Oh, there it is, going mega. I love that animation. Triple cannon hurt me. <laughs> Gotta respect the cannons. <laughs> All right, Blastoise protecting though this time. Interesting play there. And what are we gonna see from that Weavile going fling? Nice, protect the Flare Blitz going down onto that Weavile. Oh my gosh, that's pretty much gonna drop it in one shot. There it goes, Weavile gone. It faints and goes right back to its trainer. Yeah, great play right there. Yeah, there we go. And a little bit of recoil damage, as well as I think I saw um, uh, life orb potential damage there. Oh, Talonflame avoids! What? What? Are you kidding me? 
Simon just taking such great position right now. Uh, saw that fling coming, possibly a King's Rock from that Weavile, so great play by Simon to take that momentum. And we do see the uh, Charizard switch in here, also a shiny from uh, from Ashton there. Yeah, but that huge avoid though from Talonflame, keeping it on the field for one more turn, being able to fire off uh, priority Brave Burst with that Gale Wing, so really good position right now for Simon. Uh, but still, great protect from that Blastoise. I saw that fling coming and did not want to have Blastoise be, have a dead turn, so right now, Simon in pretty good control right now. Charizard gonna be able to do a little bit of work, uh, bringing out the Sunlight and possibly firing off a Solar Beam if it does choose to Mega Evolve into Charizard Y, or gonna be able to get a huge attack boost from Mega Evolving into Mega Charizard X. So it all really depends on what Ashton has as a Mega Charizard to That's see true. if he can bring this momentum back around to his side. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in seeing this Mega right now. What can it be? Will he bring the Sun out, or will he bring the Dragon? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Charizard Y it is, so the Sun will come out here. Now Charizard being relatively, uh, Fast, trained to be a faster Pokemon, but Talonflame uh, should outspeed it here. Depending on what it decides to do, I believe that he also had a Protect on that Talonflame. All right, Sunlight turns hard. Charizard protects, actually. Doesn't want to take any damage here this turn. And what else are we going to see? Talonflame, Brave Birding, though, onto the Gigalith. Going to get some damage off there. Hurt me. Boom! All right, does about a fourth of damage. Nice call, though, uh, targeting that Gigalith. Taking some damage from that uh, recoil. Oh, the Aura Sphere going down. It hits. It hits Aura Sphere right into that Gigalith. It is gone. Gigalith goes down and back to its trainer. That is an amazing read. Uh, Brave Bird, of course, not really going to do too much damage to Gigalith, but it breaks sturdy. So that Aura Sphere was able to knock out Gigalith this turn. So great play by Simon right there. And he is in such great control right now. Ashton trying to play it a bit safe, but a bit too safe, in my opinion. All right, we do see Sock coming in there for Ashton there. I, I love that Pokemon, that Karate Gi is <laughs> epic. Yeah, uh, Sock right now, not in favorable position. Talonflame, of course, can just fire off that Brave Bird on the Sock slot and do massive amounts of damage to it. Uh, Blastoise, not really enjoying facing off Charizard in the sunlight, but at the same time, it's still going to do a good amount of damage with that Mega Launcher ability from Blastoise. But Charizard, of course, always going to be able to with that Solar Beam that doesn't need to charge up this turn at all because of the sunlight. All right, it looks like we do see Simon pull the Blastoise back there and send out Tyranitar. Look out, and the Sand Stream ability is going to bring that Sandstorm onto the field here. Oh, the Sandstorm kicks up. Brave Bird, again, is it going down on Sock? Who's it going to be? Who's the lucky recipient of that? <laughs> it is Sock going to do huge damage. Actually gets the Fate as well. Oh, my gosh. The Talon Flame is real. <laughs> All right, takes some damage from that recoil. Actually, the Talon Flame fainting as well from uh, the recoil there. It goes back to its trainer, Simon, but taking a commanding lead in uh, game one. Definitely. Oh, Charizard getting a little bit of that uh, Sandstorm. And the miss, I believe, actually. Yeah, uh, really good play right there by Simon. Going to reset that sand, and Charizard will not be able to face off in the sunlight. So great position right now for Simon to seal the deal on this one. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And it uh, looks like he, he knows what moves he wants to do. He's already locked in. The Ice Beam from Blastoise. I'm not going to do a whole lot to Charizard. And the Heat Wave right back. Let's see. Actually connecting this time. Blastoise eats it up. Tyranitar eats it up. Does get the burn, though. <laughs> does get the burn. However, Tyranitar hitting back with a rock slide. I think it's going to be enough to close this match off. Charizard faints, going back to its trainer, Ashton. An incredible match one, guys. That was epic. Yeah, uh, back to the drawing board for Ashton. Really, uh, really unfortunate for him to go out in that way. But at the same time, Simon and Ashton, they both took really, really good information from each other that turn, or that game, actually. So Ashton's going to have to try to figure out a way to get around what Simon has. And it looks like Simon actually knows a lot of Ashton's tricks. Uh, protecting him in that fling, that was huge. Mm -hmm. Blastoise did not want to flinch that turn and open itself up to any sort of attack. Uh, of course, Ashton did get a bit unlucky with that Rock Slide miss from Gigalith. And another thing to note is that, that Charizard is actually slower than Blastoise. Mm -hmm. So Blastoise is going to be a very big threat to, to uh, Ashton's Charizard, actually, wow. as long as Sunlight is not there. That is interesting. Uh, I wonder if uh, we're going to see any change-ups on the lead there. Uh, for, this next, for this next match. I mean, does Ashton have to go back to the, to the drawing board for that? Or does it, is it bring out the same ones and just maybe hope you can, hope you don't miss on that rock slide? Well, Ashton actually had a pretty good lead advantage, in my opinion. Weavile, of course, starting with that fake out and being able to end that silence. But Simon just read Ashton so well and switched amazingly into such safe places that he took momentum just by switching. Didn't do that much damage to that all that turn at all, but he still was able to take that momentum just by purely switching. So amazing play by Simon, and Ashton's going to have to try to get around this. Now both players choosing their teams uh, relatively fast there. Uh, looks like they know what they want to do. Let's get into the match to check out these uh, trainers as they uh, throw out some Pokemon here. All right, here we go. Ashton with the fedora and sunglasses. <laughs> there. All right, we do see the Blastoise Amoongus lead actually this time from Simon, and the Weavile Heliolisk is on the field for Ashton. So uh, Heliolisk, not really a popular Pokemon, electric normal typing, going to be really fast and threaten that Blastoise, but at the same time, Amoongus is such a great support Pokemon. It can do so many things. It can rage power, draw away any of those electric attacks from Heliolisk. 
and not really care about it because it resists the electric attacks. So Amoongus right now going to be a very huge supporter for Blastoise to be able to fire off attacks as well. The Heliolisk, of course, can have two a lot of different abilities, actually. It can have solar power, dry skin, or a sand paddle? Sand, <laughs> sand paddle? Sand? Yeah. Thanks. That's how unknown Heliolisk really is. But at the same time right now, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what plays out. All right, we do see the withdraw on that Weavile bringing in Charizard for Ashton. And the Mega Blastoise comes back into the play. All right, there he is. Look at that. I can watch that animation all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Blastoise actually protecting turn one there. And Amoongus as well, maybe just getting off a scout. Nice, double protect. And uh, looks like Heliolus won't be doing much there. Gets, the, gets to see the Volt switch. Yeah, a uh, good play right there. Uh, of course, Weavile threatening with that fake out pressure. Didn't want, Ash didn't want Ashton to kind of get a fake out off and be able to fire off that Volt switch and get Heliolus out. So great play right there by Simon to kind of keep the momentum on his side. Uh, of course, if that Heliolus does have dry skin, Blastoise will not be too effective against it unless it uses Aura Sphere. Uh, good switch in there for Charizard, though, can bring out the sunlight and possibly power up Heliolus if that's the ability that uh, Ashton chose to have with it. But of course, that Amoongus is still going to play pretty good support. Yeah, Amoongus is really nice here. Now we do see the Mega Charizard come back out. It's going to set that sun. It's going to let the, shun the sun <laughs> shine. There it goes. And the Rage Powder from Amoongus trying to draw that potential attack from Heliolus there. Becomes the center of attention. Heliolus does Volt Switch right onto that Amoongus. Going to go back to its trainer, and he's going to get a little switch in here. Yeah, one of the great things about Volt Switch is that you kind of see what your opponent's already doing this turn, mm -hmm. and then you get to choose what best option to switch in is. So Heliolus and Volt Switch, really good plays right there. Yeah, so he's feeling the Gigalith, it looks like, back, uh, back on the field. And the Water Spout going to do massive damage with that full HP. Oh my gosh, both Pokemon losing over 50%. That is crazy. And that weakness policy on Gigalith. Going to raise its uh, special attack stat there. Oh, Blastoise, the dodge. <laughs> the heat wave dodge. And Amoongus faints. Yeah, huge knockout right there. Uh, Simon possibly thinking that Charizard target down the Solar Beam, but of course, Ashen just reading right into that and figuring out that Amoongus is actually a good Pokemon to knock out with that heat wave. Yeah, you want to get rid of Amoongus there when he can uh, you know, take your attacks from you with that Rage Powder. Yeah, and Gigalith getting that uh, attack boost and that special attack boost, probably focusing more on that attack boost, is going to do a lot of damage this turn as long as it can survive. Oh, Wide Guard, what? No more Water Spout. Sorry. Talonflame, though, setting up the Tailwind. All right, let's see what we get. That is the Water Spout that Wide Guard protects Charizard. What's he going to do? Solar Beam. Uh-oh, Charizard absorbing the light. Oh, sorry, I think Blastoise. Massive damage. What? Gets the faint. Gets the faint on Blastoise. What is happening? What is happening right now? That solar beam so strong. Yeah, that was a huge momentum sink for Simon right now. Uh, Blastoise getting knocked out. The Mega getting knocked out. Most importantly, going to put a hole in Simon's offense in his uh, team, actually. So tough spot right now for Simon. Uh, great play right there by Ashton to fire off the solar beam and wide guard from Gigalith. Not a lot of people know that uh, wide guard is used by Gigalith at all. So that took Simon by surprise and definitely Definitely hurt a lot. Yeah, I mean, uh, getting rid of that Mega there was huge. Now we do see the switch into Tyranitar, got rid of the Sun. And uh, Tyranitar in there, looking nice, ready to battle. Yeah, right now, two against four, from uh, Simon against Ashton. So really tough spot right now for Simon. And Simon definitely wants to advance as much as he can in this tournament. So Simon might have to go to the drawing board. But of course, it's still really early. Uh, anything can really happen. Uh, Talonflame, of course, can threaten with that priority Brave Word against that Charizard and do a good amount of damage against it. All right, Charizard going for the Protect. Let's see what we get from Simon. Oh, Gigalith protecting as well, but it fails there. Uh, and we do see the Brave Bird going down. Who's it gonna Who's it gonna focus on there? Nice, the Gigalith, of course, because of that protect on Charizard. But he hangs on. Oh my gosh, how much HP is left there? The recoil taking a little damage from that recoil. And Tyranitar, though, assurance. What? <laughs> what? Doubles up on the Gigalith. Nice read. Yeah, that Brave Bird actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Uh, Talonflame, of course, showing off how strong exactly it is, and good way to double tap and make sure that that Gigalith is knocked out for this turn. Uh, of course, Wide Guard going before that protect reduces the protect's ability to, or it reduces the chances of succeeding. So mm -hmm. that really just hurting Ashton's momentum right there. Yeah, so some nice calls there for Simon. We do see Ashton bringing in the Weavile there, and it's uh, exerting some of that pressure. Yeah, so even though Simon right now is down two to three, Simon still has chances in uh, wind conditions. Really, uh, Tyranitar of course is going to threaten that Charizard, and that Tailwind is still up. So mm -hmm. that Tailwind going to definitely help out against Ashton and Tyranitar. Not really a speed Pokemon. But at the same time, right now, that Tailwind is going to make it super fast and be able to do a lot of damage before uh, Weavile or Charizard will be able to move. 
this is a crazy turn, man. The pre <laughs> I'm feeling that Weavile out pressure. Yeah, that fake out pressure <laughs> definitely still hurts. And of course, we saw earlier that Weavile did try to fling something and possibly a King's Rock. So right now, Weavile having two chances to possibly slow down Simon's momentum. Yeah, definitely that, that potential King's Rock fling there is huge. Uh, looks like both players have chosen. No, Weavile just choosing to go straight with that fake out, of course, gets that turn one fake out there. And Talonflame, Brave Bird. Oh boy, <laughs> is he gonna go down on this time? Look out, sorry Charizard, gonna pick up the feint there. The Mega going back to Ashton, huge hit. Talonflame uh, taking a little bit of that damage from the recoil there, as well as, I believe, uh, the Life Orb. All right, Tyranitar the flinch, though, of course, again, from that fake out from Weavile. Yeah, great play right there for Talonflame to knock out that Charizard. Right now is actually an even match, and, well, Talonflame, of course, can still move before a lot of Pokemon and do a lot of damage. Uh, Heliolus comes back out, and let's see exactly what Heliolus does. Yeah, very true. I think that's the wild card there, right? We haven't seen, uh, we've seen Bolt Switch, that's about it. Yeah, uh, Heliolisk uh, Electric Typing, so not really going to be interested in Brave Burning it, but of course, if it is Dry Skin, then that Flare Blitz from Talonflame is going to do a bit more damage to it, so going to have to see exactly what happens here. Right now, this turn is going to be huge for both players. All right, another Brave Bird. <laughs> oh, man, those Gale Wings. All right, there we go, right into Weavile. It is enough to get rid of it. Weavile goes down as well, back to its trainer there. And Townflame taking a ton of damage from the recoil and hangs on with 8 HP. What? Tyranitar Rock Slide. Oh, sorry, Heliolisk. That is going to do quite a bit of damage there. Heliolisk loses over 50% there. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Hits right back. Tyranitar fades. Nice. Down to zero HP, back to its trainer. Oh my gosh. Crazy oh turn right there. Gosh. You see how excited everybody is as Talonflame gets knocked up by the sand. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Heliolisk is real. Oh, it's so real man. right now. Simon losing a heartbreaker right there. That could have been his chance to advance to the top eight. So that is so hard on Simon right now. But Ashton must be so excited to get that, clinching out that victory. Such a clutch victory right there. As we see Heliolisk just doing so much work. So right now, right All now right. back to the drawing board. Yeah, dude, that was absolutely insane. The crowd is going wild right now. <laughs> they're chanting, they're getting too crazy. Oh my gosh, it is popping off over here. No joke, that Heliolus play got everyone going wild. Yeah, so right now, <laughs> right now it is gonna come down to this last game to see who's gonna advance to the top eight. So Ashton and Simon, the pressure is on right now to see who wants to have their season continue. So back to the drawing board yeah. for both players, really. One, one, one. It's a best two out of three. Uh, th this is huge for both of these players to go through into the top cut. Now we do see the teams on screen here. Again, uh, we're, we're going to have some really, really interesting plays. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, is it time to switch it up is the question. <laughs> well, Ashton, of course, just clutching that last one out. Uh, Healy is going to pay a lot of huge dividends. Uh, really interesting to see that Weavile was knocked out in Simon's priority when Healy, of course, was out there and threatening at full health. Uh, Talonflame could have easily knocked it too. Talonflame easily could have knocked it out too, but I guess Simon just felt that Weavile was the bigger threat. Yeah. So, I mean, great, great plays by both players, but Ashton just barely pulling that one out. Yeah, it really felt like Simon's reads were really strong again this time, getting rid of that Gigalith, uh, you know, focusing it down and just, you know, getting rid of that Charizard as well with the, I believe, the Brave Bird there. And then <laughs> you can't stop Heliolisk. Yeah, I mean, let's just be real. <laughs> really risky play right there by Ashton with that Focus Blast. Not exactly the most accurate of moves. <laughs> So Not really for me, lucky. at least. I've never hit one, actually. In time, <laughs> time I've been playing Pokemon, I've never hit a single. Yeah, really, lucky, luck, really lucky that it connected. Uh, possibly thought that Heliolus will decide to go after that talent flame instead of Weavile going after it. So Ashton just, I mean, great play. And right now going to the third game. So going to be interesting to see exactly how it plays out for both players. Uh, of course, Ashton trying to fight for that trip to Washington, D.C. for the Pokemon Video Game World Championships. Invite is pretty much guaranteed right now with how well he's doing in the Swiss round. But... Simon, of course, trying to move on to the top eight to try to get to the world invite that he so desperately wants. Yeah, that's gonna, that is going to be huge. Um, I do believe that, uh, that we might uh, be into a slight turn here, but let, let's see what is going on. Uh, anyway, both trainers, again, like you said, it's, uh, it's a lot on the line. Simon, of course, uh, wanting to get that trip. And then Ashton actually already ready to go there, but Ashton was something to prove, to say, hey, I can do this, just, I got the invite, but I can, I can still prove myself here. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of bragging rights, really, for being able to say, oh, hey, I used these Pokemon, Heliolus, Sock, Gigalith, Espeon, <laughs> to, to all the way to the top eight of the national championships. So, I mean, a lot of bragging rights. A lot of people kind of counted Ashton out of it for just using these obscure Pokemon, but right yeah. now, Ashton proving a point to everybody that he is here to play and he means business using obscure Pokemon. Yeah, man, it's, it's not always the team, it's, it's how you play it, you know? Right, and we saw exactly how Ashton played. He's playing so amazingly well. 
doing a lot of good predictions. And I mean, I'm not counting Simon out either. Simon is doing a great job as well. Uh, Simon, of course, setting up that tailwind to mm -hmm. set up the rest of his team to possibly sweep. So both players right now, it's, it's, it's intense. And I, I am excited to see what happens in this third game that's coming up. Yeah, now, so after this match, we're going to go into that top cut, right? We're just going to be uh, eight players, I right. believe, right? So we're going to go into a top cut from there, and then those eight players will, will face off in a two out of three single elimination, correct? Right, right. So the pressure is on there. I mean, you lose, and you're out. Your possible season can possibly end. All right, guys, it looks like we are going straight into the action. So let's see if the winners brought to the field there. All right, we have the Gigalith and uh, Gigalith and Weavile for Ashton there, and the Amoongus, as well as the Blastoise for Simon. Now we see the Protect on the Amoongus. Weavile used Fling, flings that King's Rock right over onto that Blastoise. I believe that will uh, will get that flinch there. Nice. And Gigalith, Rock Slide, Amoongus protecting itself, though. Uh, not going to take any damage in Blastoise. It's going to do a little bit to Blastoise. Gigalith being pretty strong there. Yeah, uh, Blastoise flinching that turn, possibly being able to threaten both of them with either a Water Scout or an Aura Sphere, as we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, of course, not enjoyed taking Aura Spheres at all. <laughs> so, really unfortunate that that King's Rock did land on that Blastoise, but of course, if there's an Amoongus, there's a way. Because Amoongus, of course, can just Rage Powder any attack box this turn and preserve Blastoise's health to fire off powerful Water Spouts or just have Blastoise stay safe in order to attack Gigalith and Weavile. Then, of course, Amoongus, uh, Spore, Spore user, right? Can yeah. definitely put Pokemon to sleep. Uh, it's been a long term for everybody. And a lot of these Pokemon <laughs> definitely deserve naps, right? They're looking pretty tired. They might need to go. They might need to take a little nap. All right. But he does actually withdraw the Amoongus there. Simon bringing it back and sends out Tyranitar. And, of course, going to set up that Sandstorm using that Sandstream ability. There we go. Unfortunately, that, that Sandstorm did knock out his Town Flame in the previous round there. In the previous match, I should say. Now, uh, the big Icicle Crash coming down from the Weavile uh, onto where the Amoongus was, but it's Tyranitar now. And the Aura Sphere from the Blastoise. Oh, man, it's going to do a lot of damage there. Weavile, ouch, nice. Gets the faint going back to its trainer. Is Weavile. Oh, man, that was a sad little face there. I'm sorry, Weavile. I would never do that to you, Weavile. <laughs> All right, and the Rock Slide again. Going to take uh, Blastoise into the red there and doing a decent amount onto Tyranitar. Yeah, one of the cool things about Tyranitar Sandstorm is that it actually gives a special defense boost to uh, Tyranitar and Gigalith and all other rock types on the field. Uh, so Gigalith is actually pretty bulky right now, and of course, it, with that sturdy ability, it's going to be able to hang on no matter what. Yeah, he's going to have to gonna have to definitely break that sturdy ability there. Now, we do see the switch in from Charizard there. What will Blastoise do, it says on screen? What will he do is the question. <laughs> well, of course, Charizard, uh, of course, we saw that it's the Mega, mega Charizard Y, and that's going to bring the sunlight, going to get rid of that sandstorm mm -hmm. that uh, Simon probably wants up, and Charizard going to be able to fire off solar beams onto either Tyranitar or Blastoise. Not, neither of them going to really enjoy it at all. Uh, Blastoise already heavily damaged. A uh, Heat Wave would actually probably knock it out as well. So really tough position right now for Simon. Actually chooses to switch back the Tyranitar. You're exactly right. I think there was a huge threat there. Brings Amoongus back in. Oh, man. Uh, Amoongus will definitely not like uh, a Heat Wave either right now. Let, let's see what we get from uh, Mega Charizard Y. Nice. And that Dark Mega. That looks so awesome. All right. Let's see what we get. Charizard bringing the sun out. Oh, it's harsh. <laughs> oh, it hurts. I hope they brought sunscreen. All right, the Aura Sphere, though. What? Aura Sphere. Gonna do a ton of Gigalith. No, it hangs on. It hangs on with like about, what's that? It's gonna be like 5 HP. That's crazy. And that weakness policy raising its attack and special attack there. Charizard substituting, huh? Okay. Substitute Charizard? Okay, all right. The Earthquake from Gigalith doesn't affect the Charizard. It's flying type. And gonna do huge damage with that weakness policy. Amoongus down to 70 health there, I think. Ouch. Yeah, substitution charts are not really that popular, and of course, right now it's really paying off because Charizard hiding behind a substitute. That's going to be scary. Uh, we saw the weakness policy power of Gigalith, and now it's going to be doing a lot of damage with Earthquake, Rock Slide, and of course, it's still able to support that Charizard with that wide guard that we saw. So Tyranitar are going to have a hard time trying to deal damage to this Charizard. Yeah, very true. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing we will see that wide guard actually. Uh, so maybe just a little attack there on that. Gigalith, not sure. That's a tough, he's in a tough position, man. That wide guard's really going to shut down Tyranitar. Yeah, Simon right now, back to the wall, really, in my opinion, because of the position that Ashton has put himself in. All right, now we do see the Town Flame coming into play. It was a big Pokemon last time, feigning, I think, two of the two of Ashton's Pokemon, at yes. least. All right, Gigalith protecting this, this turn. Charizard Heat, right? What? Tyranitar avoids. Nice. He's going to hang on for another turn there with that protect on, uh, with that protect on Gigalith, so no damage from Gigalith. Town Flame not doing a ton of damage to it, being a fire type as well. All right, and Talonflame taking a little bit of damage from the Sandstorm. Yeah, Tyranitar using Assurance, not really a popular move, really, until of recently. Uh, assurance doubling up its power after uh, Pokemon's already been damaged, but really, Gigalith with that much health will not be able to take any hit at all, really. Brave Bird from Talonflame going to be able to knock it out, or even t uh, Brave Bird from Talonflame to break the substitute from Charizard. going to be interesting to see what happens, and we, of course, saw that Talonflame has Tailwind to set up if, if needed. All right, Talonflame uh, going with that Protect there. 
And Charizard Heat Waving, Talonflame protects, but it does actually hit Tyranitar this time. Is it gonna be enough to get the feint? 89 health? No, no, 70 actually really, really bulky with that Sandstorm up, of course. And Tyranitar's Assurance going down onto that Gigalith. Good night, Gigalith actually faints and goes right back to Ashton there. So uh, great play for Simon on that turn. Yeah, Simon's uh, able to even it out and good protect right there from Talonflame to preserve itself for the next turn to see what exactly comes in. Uh, Charizard, of course, still ha happy hiding behind that substitute. Yes. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> oh, no, it's the MVP Heliolisk back in action. Yeah, Heliolisk comes back in, and of course, it's actually a really speedy Pokemon, but at the same time, Talonflame might be able to knock it out with the Flare Blitz if it does have Flare Blitz. So right now, tough decision for Simon. Who's the bigger target as Simon is actually up 3-2 to two in this last battle of this best 2 out of 3? Well, there's the Flare Blitz. Who's he targeting? Boom, right into Heliolisk. Is it going to be enough? Doing tons of damage. Heliolisk falls. Heliolisk falls. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Big knockout right there. Huge knockout. Talonflame taking a ton of damage, though, back from that recoil. Charizard, Heat Wave Town. Is it going to be enough to get rid of Talonflame here? Down to zero. Tyranitar holds on with 40 HP, but he's behind the substitute. But he's behind that substitute. Talonflame faints going back to Simon here. Yeah. And the Rock Slide. Uh-oh. Is it going to break it? It hits. The substitute's gone. Right now, it all comes down to if Tyranitar will be able to survive the next Charizard attack. And if so, Simon may be moving on to the top eight right now. This is an insane turn. I think that Tyranitar is going to be able to uh, hang on there. Amoongus, uh, not going to really like a heat wave if we see that again, but I think Tyranitar is going to be able to hold on here. Yeah, but good position right now for Simon because Tyranitar definitely threatens that Charizard. And at the same time, Sand is out, so Solar Beam will not be able to go off this turn. So really great position right now for, for Simon. And it all really depends on what Charizard can do to this uh, Charizard, or what Charizard can do to this Tyranitar. Uh, this heat wave, possibly a critical hit, or even just doing a good amount of damage. Yeah, so I know that Protector is going to be a great call there, uh, wanting to just buy himself a little bit of time there. Uh, Amoongus Sporing, uh, not going to do anything into that Protect. It does get buffeted by the Sandstorm there. And so is Amoongus. <laughs> Sorry, Amoongus. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, right now, Ashen really trying to protect Stall to try to stall the Sand turns and lower Tyranitar's special defense with that Sand clearing out. And actually goes with the Heat Wave here. Amoongus going to faint. Tyranitar hangs on with 21. Can he dodge? Can he dodge the attack, though, is the question. Will Rock Slide hit? That's actually a better question right now. And the Rock Slide. Oh, it hits. Charizard's definitely going to faint here. <laughs> All his friends going crazy right now. Everyone going crazy <laughs> for that big play. Wow, Simon ends up taking it. Uh, two games. Incredible play there. Back and forth. Great match for both players there. Yeah, he advances to 5-1 and one as Ashen drops to 4-2. and two, And that is actually huge right now for Simon as that assures him Pop, that assures him top cut. He is now in the top eight of the U.S. National Tournament, one of the biggest turns we've seen so far. Yeah, this is absolutely huge for Simon there. Guys, that was a crazy match. Uh, Simon taking match one, Ashton bringing it back, and then Simon uh, turning it around again with the big, some big rock slides. Yeah, Simon really decided that Helios was a bigger threat and decided to target down with that Flare Blitz that uh, I really wanted to see in game two that probably would have clinched him that uh, series already. Mm -hmm. So great adjustment right there by Simon to realize that Helios is actually the problem Pokemon. Uh, Helios, of course, fought valiantly, but it just did not survive that Town Flame Flare Blitz. So. Great play right there by Simon, and of course, great play by Ashton, and it all comes down to tiebreaker right now for Ashton to see if his season will continue into the top cut. Yeah, very true there, Dewey. Good point. Uh, guys, it looks like we're going to take a quick break, but we will have Simon on stage here talking to him about uh, some of those big plays when we get back from this break. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Video Game National Championships. If you were just here, you saw an epic two out of three match with uh, Simon here uh, facing off against Ashton. Simon, congratulations on the big win, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was a really exciting match. W were you confident going into that match? Or were you, I mean, th those are some obscure uh, Pokemon to be bringing. Yeah, that, that was really like a wild card. I didn't really <laughs> know what to expect that much. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, I, we saw you make some really good decisions there, like protecting uh, on that potential fling. Did you kind of uh, know the team? Did you see it earlier in the competition? Or did you, were you just like, I kind of know what these sets are? Uh, and Ashton's team was posted online, and oh. I got a glimpse of it. <laughs> so uh, it always helps to get a, get a little help from the, uh, the internet there, of course. Um, now, I'm, I know it's on my mind. Uh, what is your favorite Pokemon? Did you get to bring it, or do you, do you uh, not have to use it in VGC? It's Flygon. I have the plush in my backpack. Oh, nice. I see. Uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Rocking that fly gun. Now, is this your first uh, Nationals? Like, no, it's my third. It's your third, okay. Yeah. But uh, now into the top cut, are, are you feeling good? Are you feeling strong the way you've been playing? Yeah, I feel really, really good about it. That's awesome. Um, how much would this Worlds invite mean to you? Uh, so I got 13th place, place last year, uh -huh. and I missed it by two points. Oh my gosh. So getting an invite here would be really, really huge. That's cool, man. Um, 
Now, with uh, the rest of these matches coming up, uh, you got any friends left in it for the day uh, that you're rooting for out there? Ray, uh, Jody. Um, I don't, I'm not sure who's left, though. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Ray has been playing really well. Would yeah. you like to see a matchup with him later? Maybe in top four. <laughs> Maybe not, in top not, yeah, not in top eight. Yeah, yeah, he's playing pretty strong as well. Yeah. Awesome. Now, tell us a little bit about this this team. We didn't see Lucario at all. Did you not like that matchup? Uh, I couldn't really bring it because uh, he had Charizard, which mm -hmm. is faster and it'll, it'll outspeed it. He also had Espeon, which outspeeds it, Heliolus. All, all his Pokemon outspeed it. Yeah, just a little too yeah. fast. Awesome. So, Simon, wh wh where are you from, man? How, how did uh, you travel to get here? New York City. Oh, so yeah. not too bad just from yeah. these. I did a nice little five hour from <laughs> Vegas all the way. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, man, good luck in, in the rest of the competition here. I'm really excited uh, to see the rest of your games. That, that there were some incredibly like clutch plays there with like uh, the, the rock slides that, um, <laughs> that <laughs> Flare Blitz, man, was on that Heliolisk. Yeah. Like uh, on some of those plays, did you know, like when you were going, you're like, I'm going to get the faint on this Pokemon? Or were you just hitting it with like hard hitting moves and just hoping uh, you I was you pretty sure. Okay. I was Nice, nice. Yeah, and uh, how about that assurance, that doubling up? Did you predict that protect on Charizard on that turn? Uh, I yeah, I did predict that. Nice. I, I wanted just to make sure that I would kill it because I have like Rock Slide and mm -hmm. other inaccurate moves. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, so Simon, already knowing everything that's going on there, of course. <laughs> no worries. I knew he was going to protect. I wasn't even worried the entire time. That's awesome, Simon. Congrats again. An epic two out of three. Um, can't believe you pulled it out there after that giant uh, focus blast was so scary yeah. in, uh, in game two there. And good luck in the rest of the competition. I think we're going to cut away to another break here, guys. We'll be back with uh, the top cut.